Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Minute Nail Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It is very much appreciated. Um, going to be doing a general reading. Could be a Scorpio. I'm not really sure because I wanted to start out Scorpio, but I'm going to go general. But um, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she's. Sometimes the story might be vice versa. Okay. All right, so um, what I'm getting is that you may have gone through some sort of breakup, okay? Um, if you haven't, then it's telling you to actually have faith in love, okay? Um, it's telling you that, you know, you will, if it was a breakup, that you will recover and you will come back as the phoenix rising, especially around um, next month, okay? Or this month, really. Um, the fifth month, whatever that is. <laughs> I don't know why I can't focus. Okay. I feel like the connection that you were in, that somebody wasn't telling you the truth. I feel like that, you know, they told you one thing and they did another thing. They pretty much self sabotaged this, this connection here. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to tell you that I'm getting the song, Sam Smith song. Um, I think it's called Unholy. I think, yeah, I think it is called Unholy. So um, you may want to go and gravitate to uh, having a look at that, at that bit, uh, lyrics to that song. Okay. I, th I feel that you were working with somebody who worked out of pride and ego. And, um, you know, you may have started paying attention to the signs that was going on around you with this person. You felt like this person was throwing you under a bus or selling you out or... Um, you know, just meeting up with other people with the self-sabotage card, okay? Um, I do feel that I'm getting a very sexual vibe, like somebody really wants to have new sex, wants to have sex with, with somebody new, okay? Um, I, I feel like that, um, you know, you, you realise that maybe this person is not for you, you know, it's, the person that tells you one thing and does another thing is not for you, okay? All right, this person gets tempted by a lot of people, all right? They got temptation all around them. And even though they are coming across as a soulmate to you, um, you feel that this person um, works out of fear. This person works out of fear and you, you don't want to be a part of this person's problems anymore because they got major problems by the looks of things okay um this person also you know cannot change their ways they they're finding it like really hard to you're finding really really hard to to be able to teach an old dog new tricks let's put it this way okay I feel like this person just does whatever they want, whether they're married, whether they're single, whether they're in a commitment. They just do whatever they want. They've got no self-respect for themselves, you know. But whatever their issues are, I feel like you don't want to be a part of that issue and that's not your playground anymore. You don't want to play these stupid games anymore, okay. So I hear you're letting go. You are letting go, this, you know. I mean... Yeah, this person works, always plays the victim when they're the perpetrator. They do have a family. They do have a family somewhere. Um, I feel like that you had a very wild connection with this person, but waking up to this connection, you realize that um, this person always plays the victim, plays the victim card, like draws attention of other people by telling them a, a, a sad story and, you know, they end up just wanting sex from whoever they're with, okay? All right, there's a lot of sadness around you, okay? Because you were trapped to this situation from a long time. And I do feel that it was a sexual connection, even though you felt like it, it was more this person was only using you for sex, okay? Um, they left a hole in your heart. But I feel like your, your spirit guide stepped in, okay? and uh, removed you from all this and um, they're right beside you as you're healing and they are you know telling you to practice self-love in this 
for yourself, okay? Look into your inner child and find that happiness again because I do feel that you're very sad. And I do feel that, you know, um, you just need to go on a journey of self-discovery and finding yourself again because I feel like that you're not who you who you were. You, you know, somebody stole your energy. I feel like they stole your energy. Um, they may have used some sort of spell work against you, um, you know. But I also feel like when they finished with you, they threw you away and they... Um, they went off with somebody else, okay? This person may have been uh, doing a lot of night work. I'm going to say they were doing a lot of night work, like they were meeting somebody through the night, okay? I felt like you were very patient, you know, through all this, but you're starting to see the beauty within yourself, okay? You need to see the beauty within yourself, all right? Um... Whatever this person told you, you feel that it was all a lie. You feel that um, none of it is real. For some reason, that's what you're feeling. None of it was real. None of it at all. Okay. This person is keeping their distance from you. Trying to make you look like you're the one that was at fault. But really, they were the ones that were doing a lot of sneaky behavior. And a lot of, um, um, you know meeting up with other people and, and um, temptation, just, you know, they're, they're, they're playing a, a dangerous game, really, right now. You were a gift to this person. Yeah, you were a gift to this person. You were supposed to be in this connection for, um, for better or for worse, okay? But, you know, I'm feeling like a gift is coming your way now after dealing with this person. Okay, this person tried to control you, tried to put you in a self-imposed prison, all right, while they were meeting up with other people, okay. Um, I feel like this person may be married, okay. Um, this person wants to be respected, like people think that they're a really nice person, but uh, if they really knew the truth about this person... There's a lot of talk going on in the community regarding this person. Something is coming to an end work-wise in their work situation. Something is coming to an end. And this is something that you already knew. So you might be a little bit intuitive to what is coming. Okay. And I feel like that, um, yeah, this person was traveling towards other lovers. Yeah. And it's also coming up the child. So I don't know if there's a child connected here or you need to go back to a little bit of um, play, you know, childish ways and or well, they were being childish towards you. You're coming into some sort of sudden wealth through your work, okay? Um, you may be waiting on a, a health decision that it's going to, um, like you're waiting on some sort of results through a, a health issue that was coming through and you will be getting those results very very soon now it may be concerning to you you may have to have discussions with your family on what's the best way to go here um, or it could be a person that's around you that's that's not well and um, you need to make an official decision on this person okay I feel like the path is of, of great fortune is opening up to you, all right? Um, someone who's thinking about you, somebody who is wearing a false mask, maybe wants to make some changes. Um, you know, you may receive a message from this person. They may um, need some financial assistance or, um, you know, if it's within the marriage or this person that, that is not well, there's a, there's a focus on, on a home, okay? So either a marriage is coming to an end and the, and the house will be sold, um, or some through somebody's ill health, there's, there's a, a decision that needs to be made regarding a house, okay? All right, so we have a mature woman that's going to go through a court um, decision here. Or well, the house will be going through a court decision. But what I'm really feeling is that there's two stories here. All right. So whoever this person is that was promiscuous and was meeting up with people through the night and whatever, 
their partner is going to find out, which is going to end in a divorce and the house will be sold, all right? And the other side of this is there is somebody who is not well, okay? Um, who needs to make a decision on, on um, you know, their health and they may have to go live somewhere else or um, they officially know that their time is up. So, um, you know, they're looking at the, the will and the inheritance and possibly the sale of a home, um, you know, and um, that is going to bring you into some sort of um, good fortune and sudden wealth, okay? Now, going back to this person, um, that song, Unholy, is not the best song you want to, um, you know, listen to because... Uh, this person is running around and, and um, you know, at times wanting to control this uh, behavior of theirs, but they can't seem to control it. But their partner is going to find out because there is a verse in the song. I don't know this song, but I believe there's a verse that if mummy ever finds out, I don't know, something like that. But anyway, um, what I'm getting for you is that um, you've moved away from this connection even though that you feel um, this person's energy from time to time they've already stolen your energy they've made you feel depleted you know they're running around like you meant nothing to them at all so you're going to get the opportunity this is going to go in reverse you're going to get an opportunity to throw it in this person's face okay because i feel like the universe is sending you somebody so much better than this person that they're going to have regrets for the rest of their life. Okay. Um, <laughs> I know, sad, sad, but, you know, they should control their behavior because they're acting like an animal. They are. They're acting like an animal. They, they're using people and, um, you know, some materialistic things is their God while, you know, people are being used, material things are being praised. That, that's how this person thinks, okay? So at the end of the day, I kind of feel like you are on a new journey. You are on a new journey and I feel that you will be meeting somebody very, very soon that's going to help you forget all this. But, you know, you're doing so well with your healing. Just keep moving forward, okay? Yes, this person enters your mind from time to time, but find something to distract yourself. Don't go backwards. Don't go back towards this person from the past. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but this person, I'm telling you, is just, you know, they're too wild and they're, they're just meeting up with other people and they're, they're craving some new sex. So um, they may gravitate your way because they're being sexually deprived all right but you when they come back to you i feel like when you look at them you don't see that glow you used to see it doesn't it doesn't affect you and then you you will know that you're done okay you're you're done but pay attention to the signs if this hasn't happened yet for you pay attention to the signs because you're going to get help from up above you're coming in as the high priestess your soulmate is on their way okay so believe just believe and keep manifesting your dreams but um whoever this person was that you had in your life look whatever they're going through and they and they took it out on you um just keep going keep going because if they they've done it once they'll do it again if they do it again they'll keep doing it keep doing it for some reason they feel that they can with you but I feel like your love is done, done, okay? Take care of yourself, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.